Hello, Internet. It's the Portland State University's Day of Giving, and the Portland State Aerospace Society needs your help. We are an interdisciplinary space program at PSU. We've been making progress in virtual space, and we have some really neat project updates for you. If you've kept up with us, you know that we're building two satellites. Our first CubeSat, CoreSat Zero, is a technology demonstration mission to test the critical components of our open source CubeSat design in space. We're putting the final touches on the satellite right now and handing off to our launch provider this month. Oregon's first satellite will be in orbit come June. We also just got into another NASA program for our second satellite, CoreSat. We're flying our prototype on the fall high altitude student payload balloon flight. We get to test our short wave infrared camera on this flight before we fly it into space. CoreSat is then scheduled to be handed off to NASA and deployed off the ISS next summer. Our students and engineers have been hard at work on our liquid fuel engine test stand, which is behind me in our cleaner room. Once we finish integration this spring, our team can start prepping for pressure and cold flow testing, which we will do with water and liquid nitrogen. Once we finalize our nominal values and our timings, then we can perform a hot fire test and we'll be using liquid oxygen and isopropyl alcohol, and that will be done around this June. We're proud to announce that we are one of only seven schools still participating in the Base 11 Space Challenge, a national competition to be the first university to send a liquid propelled rocket to the edge of space at 100 kilometers or 63 miles altitude. This is the largest rocket we have ever made at around one foot wide, around 24 feet long, and over 600 pounds, including the liquid oxygen and isopropyl alcohol by propellant. We're currently designing our isogrid propellant tanks for manufacturing this summer, and we're building some subscale test articles in the meantime. You may remember that our Launch Vehicle 3 experienced a rapid, unscheduled assembly at transonic speeds during our summer 2018 launch. We're prepared to launch our newest rocket, LV3.1, in the Central Oregon Desert late this summer. After the murder hornets are mostly gone, LV3.1 boasts a sturdier, lightweight design, thanks to new coupling redesign and refactored composite module stack up. After this first test flight, we're going to demonstrate control of the rocket by flying our new cold gas jet roll control system. We crowdfund all our rockets, rocket engines, and satellites, and we really need your help to continue as Oregon's open source student led space program. Help us today get Oregon's first satellite to orbit and first rocket to space by contributing now. Visit our PSU Day of Giving page in the description below and help us get to space. Thank you.